There are two main approaches to project management, the traditional waterfall approach and the agile approach. Originally, Agile developed as a way to better manage software development projects. Agile emerged in the late 1990s, specifically in response to the challenges encountered when managing software development projects using the traditional waterfall approach, specifically addressing the burdens of heavy documentation and frequent changes in requirements. Agile techniques and best practices began to emerge and gain prominence in software development projects. This led to a meeting in February 2001 in Park City, Utah, where 17 leading software developers wrote what has become known as the Agile Manifesto. Let's review the Agile Manifesto for software development together. We are uncovering better ways of developing software by doing it and helping others do it. Through this work, we have come to value individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following a plan. That is, while there is value in the items on the right, we value the items on the left more. Before you take your Agile Scrum Foundation certification exam, I recommend you memorize these four lines. We call them the statement of value. And you can see that on the right-hand side, those are items that are more relevant for the traditional or waterfall approach. And on the left, you have those things that are more agile in nature. Let's review each of these four lines. Individuals and interactions over processes and tools. Clearly, any project requires processes and tools. However, Individuals and their interactions deliver better results when the emphasis is not on the processes and the tools. Working software over comprehensive documentation. Documentation here refers to things like status reports, progress reports, detailed specifications, which do not really demonstrate any real progress or value. Therefore, the emphasis is on working software that can be delivered and demonstrated. Customer collaboration over contract negotiation. Organizations need to be flexible and accommodating rather than following detailed definitions listed in contracts. Responding to change over following the plan. In Agile, small pieces of working software are delivered to the customer incrementally, and the customer is involved in the project from the beginning to the end. So in Agile, we are responsive to the customer and willing to make even mid-course corrections in order to deliver to the customer the value that the customer wants. Remember, you will be tested on these four lines. So again, I urge you to memorize them. In fact, knowing these four lines and having a feel for what they mean will actually help you get to the correct answer on many questions in the exam. Here we can see what it might look like to manage a project using the waterfall approach. You can see that the system and software requirements would need to be identified and documented up front. That would be followed by the necessary analysis and program design work. Then comes the actual coding and testing. That's then followed by the handoff to the customer or to operations. As you can see, there is a heavy upfront cost of documentation, as well as the status reporting that would need to be done during the course of the project. You can also see that it would be difficult to respond to change in this kind of an approach. In fact, the Standish Group issued a study that showed that software development projects using the Agile approach succeed three times more often than when using the Waterfall approach. The Standish Group defined project success as being on time, on budget, and delivering all of the planned features. The study summarized as follows. The Agile process is the universal remedy for software development project failure. Software applications developed through the Agile process have three times the success rate of the traditional waterfall method and a much lower percentage of time and cost overruns. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.